Um, what's Carl's view on- Carl, what do you make of nudism? Who's that from? Check, let me just check who that's from. Hang it's on. Of, uh, there's a time and a place for it. That's from, uh, it's very difficult to tell That's great, you see? There's, there's a time a, and a place for it. That is just brilliant, that is Dicky Bird, that's, that's that sort of northern, uh, confident soundbite. What do you think of nudism? Well, time and a place for it. <laughs> there's a time and a place for it. Would you do it, Steve? Would I do nudism? Yeah. He's not allowed. Not, not again. No, no, yeah. uh, it's not, not in, nice, is it, really? N it's not, with Steve. He, he's not allowed on uh, any National Trust land doing it because mm. he's caused the death of millions of starlings. That's true. See, there was something on BBC Choice the other night. It's a really short show. I haven't seen it before. Um, yeah. like an odd it's not. Thing. It's not a bloke eating cup of soup and then another short show, like maybe someone cleaning their teeth with Colgate, and then a really short show. What was it called? No, what it was, it was about, uh, this old fella who, um, he's into nudism. And, um, he was saying it, he's done all right Did out of it. Did he play volleyball a lot? Yeah. He said it, he's done all right out of it because there's not many blokes who, uh, mm -hmm. are willing to go nude for, for modelling and that. And he's yeah. about 70, so it's not... Is there much cry for that, do you think? Is there much demand he's, for a 70 year old right. nude? He's doing all right for it. Sure. Good luck And, um, the odd thing was, you see... He had a corkscrew penis. <laughs> he was, um... <laughs> He was just like walking around on the main road in like a seaside town. And right. yeah, and cars would- See that's not nudism is it? That's <laughs> mental illness. Yeah, he's just a bit d div. Yeah. 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 So right. I tell you, one of your favourite programmes, is it one of your favourite moments? just that, that one with the hot air balloon? And it's just- <laughs> Yeah, you love that, It just yeah. goes from, it's like oh, in Sydney, sometimes then it's at a carnival. Oh, your, his favourite um, programme when he was little, he used to watch it for hours, was that little girl by a blackboard with two toys. Yeah. He used to love you that, didn't you? You enjoyed yeah. that, didn't you? Right, listen. Here's something else I learned in the week, and we can use this if you want to give away the Incubus tickets. Go on. Uh, there's a problem. Oh, I must have, there's some tickets to give away later. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what it is later. Go on, who, Carl. Who, 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 I don't know. Who? We're gonna save it as a surprise. Okay. Go on, Carl. Oh, have I ruined it? No, go on. Crack right. on, mate, crack on. Um, yeah. There was a pro program about the, uh, the body. Sure. Um, and wh what is it, right? Barbie doll. Why couldn't that be real? Yes. <laughs> Play a record, Carl. I, I, do, I do know the answer, actually, I have to say. What do you yeah, mean, really? why couldn't it be real? If, if the Barbie doll was, like, a real person... Right. ...it wouldn't work out. <laughs> I don't understand the question! <laughs> and you do, this is what worries me. I don't understand the question. Why do you understand it? Because it's one of those facts which I've heard in the past, but... So therefore, because I know the answer, the question makes sense. But unless you, unless you know the answer, the question makes no sense. Well, of course it does That's what's brilliant. Is it worth using for the tickets, do you think? Is it that good? It's not a real question, Carl. I don't it think is. it can count, really. It can't be a real Why? question. Well, b because I, it's like one of those things about, oh, a man went into a field and died. Why? You have to ask questions, you go, oh, because it's probably should know, but well, I've got a million explanations. Um, okay, she'd be hollow. Do you know what I mean? There no, are he, he's right, actually. There it is too vague. Why don't you give the answer and then you'll understand what, what your question meant. What was the answer? She'd have to walk around on all fours because... No, physically, the proportions of Barbie yeah. could yeah. not be replicated on a real human woman because she just couldn't have those di dimensions. Yeah, we know. Yeah, but but, but that, that you know what I mean. It, it, yeah, same goes for Fred Flintstone. Do you know what I mean? His head's half his body. It's a cartoon. Right. Um, Don't have a go at Carl. He's the caveman. People love him. Sorry. God, they're going to alienate yourself. I'd love some hip hop, Steve. Seriously. Just laying into I'd like some hip hop, Steve. We'll come up with a question. We're giving away some Incubus tickets later. Look forward to that. Yeah. Uh, it's time for Hip Hop Hooray! Uh, this is from, um. <laughs> Ooh. Hey. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, this is from Adela Soul's no uh, 2000 album, not sure. the current one. Art Official Intelligence, yeah. Mosaic Thump. Yeah. Uh, They've changed a bit, haven't they? They have, and a lot of people have dismissed Ella Soul, but there's still some tracks you can dig out of. Not as jazzy, but this is a soul tip to this, this show. This is a wonderful it? track. Uh, this is With Me. Play it, Carl. A live POD or POD. <laughs> Absolutely. As I, as I call them. Yep. On XFM 104.9, a bit of rock. Who are you? I'm Ricky Gervais. Steve Merchant here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Carl over there. Now listen, there's a bit of rock there. Yep. Takes us into a competition. We've okay. got Incubus tickets to go Incubus, away. you say? Now, I like Incubus. Okay. I mean, for, for what they are, but, you know, I'm a bit worried about all this crossover, this new metal, and these people coming out that are a bit like Pearl Jam, and a bit, all oh, this sort of, oh, I'm, I'm not too sure about it. Okay. I'm not, still not convinced, but Incubus have got a bit of style about them. Uh, well, you know the, um, the competition we just ran there, the phone-in, ask kind of thing? People were phoning up, one person said, what do you think about new metal? 
Carl just quick as fast went, I hate it. <laughs> exactly. And he threw a question right back at them and went, do you listen to that in the morning? She went, yeah. He went, wow, you see, in the morning I like Ash. In the evening, I might listen to, um, I think he said Magic, Magic FM. Yeah. yeah. But I love the fact that he is now, we've, we've put him on a pedestal, he's, he's, he's happy with his own opinions. Before he was like, mm, I don't know. And now he wants to tell the world. He'd be down Hyde Park Corner tomorrow, wouldn't he? And they're going, right, who wants to know what I think <laughs> about, I don't know, uh... At two o'clock, I will listen <laughs> to the Human League. <laughs> At Today at 4.13, I had one apple and <laughs> listened <laughs> to Primal Scream. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh. No, you're, you're a great bloke, Carl. We better stop now because, you yeah. know, we're going to make you into the new James There'll be, there'll be more from Carl next. But this is a very last question that someone, this is Jim, he's emailed in. He says, does Carl think that the wa that Waterworld, Mad Max, Judge Dredd or similar films present an accurate portrayal of what a post-apocalyptic world <laughs> might be like? <laughs> <laughs> How do you imagine what the world will be, Carl, when I the, the bomb is dropped? So I've got no comment. You've okay. Got no comment? Okay, let's, let's forget the films. What do you think the world might be like if there was, say, a nuclear war and we had to survive underground for a while till all the, um, you know, uh, uh, waste went away and we could come up and we could eat fruit again and, oh, there was, oh, it was all weird and we had to start from scratch? I'd rather die. <laughs> okay. Okay. All Wouldn't right. you? Uh? Wouldn't you? Well, supposing it was sort of like, you know, Britain was just like, it was, all the buildings had gone, right? Or there was some, some bit of scavenging, there was like, and we hid underground and we came out, you know, sort of, in ten years' time. Don't keep shaking your head, you don't have the question. You can go, no, 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 <laughs> rather die. And it was fine, you lived on tin fruit for a few years, right? Then you had to come up and start again, you had to, and you had to find other civilizations. I'd want that thing that, um, is it, is it Walt Disney had? Sort of. Cryogenically put me in a, put me in a fridge thing and say, look, wake me up when it's all built again. Mm. I can't be doing with that, walking around yeah. with a hard hat on all day. Yeah, what would you do? Set an alarm clock? You're, you're <laughs> the only person. Well, you get in a fridge and leave a note. If you find this, do not disturb till 2012. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I, well, yeah, but saying that wasn't. Well, I mean, what would you do first? You'd just come out, right? Come out into the light. It was just like it was like you know, um, S Saxon Britain. There was nothing. You'd have to start again. What would you do? What would you do first? I'd probably go and see where I live now to see what's left of it. <laughs> I love how he thinks. <laughs> oh. Carl, if you, if you were the last man on earth, right, yeah. and you had to have one other woman with which to start the human race again, right, yeah. and not your girlfriend, who would you start the human race again with? Which person would you, oh. would you want to, bear in mind, it's not just like the fact that you've got to have kids, you've got to, they've got to be able to provide something in this and they, world, and they've they got to they be might, leaders. And they might be all melted. And they, <laughs> exactly, so they're they're beauty just, may have... They've just got one good eye, uh, but now they can tell what you're thinking. <laughs> exactly. Because of radiation. <laughs> yeah. They, and, Who and, think, and, Carl? they tried to go through a pod and there was a, there was a fish in there for some reason in their Wellington. Ooh. I mean, for me, probably... Now, what would you rather kiss, a mermaid or a unicorn? <laughs> Carl, quickly. Mermaid. Why? No, sh 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 no, I want him to answer my question. Because he's got a lady's face. Mm. Okay, then. What would you rather kiss? A lady with, um, the body of a fish or the body of a horse? A fish. Wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> this is the best thing in the world. This is like, you know when you call a file a rude word <laughs> yeah. and then the computer goes, do you want to open tits? <laughs> yeah. You laugh, because it's like, that's what playing with Carl's sure. like. It's sort of like you input it and it, you always get, you get, you know what I mean? You yeah. sort of get- You get more back than you bargain for. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. oh. Probably only because, though, because I've seen films, that, that one with that Hannah Darrell or whatever her name is in, and she looks yeah. alright. I've never seen Hannah a film Darryl, yeah. with a woman with a horse's body. Maybe if I've seen one, I'd, I might change my mind if- Okay, if right. can you email us a picture of a woman with a horse's body? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ricky.Gervais at xfm.com. Or do they, do they exist? Anyway. Do you, do you reckon unicorns exist, Carl? No. Mm.